United Space Alliance. Innovation you can trust. Steve Swanson and Joseph Acaba spent about six and a half hours outside on the mission's second planned spacewalk to upgrade the space station. But it did not go entirely as hoped. The spacewalkers could not open up and deploy an external hardware stowage platform. Muscle power couldn't push it into place. The crew was told to move on to other tasks. Those included installing a GPS antenna on the station and taking pictures of the station's radiators for analysis. The crew inside worked on the urine recycler. Part of that failed after it was installed on an earlier mission. Discovery brought up a new part, the distillation assembly, and installed it. So far, so good. Uh, as we've said, that, uh, that unit is, is like a big centrifuge, uh, kind of similar to a, a washing machine. So uh, it's, uh, the, the vibrations and the sounds that it makes tells us uh, quite a bit about uh, its health. And uh, basically that unit functioned normally. The system recycles urine and sweat into drinking water, a vital piece of the space station that will allow a six-person crew to live on board later this year and give them enough drinking water to stay. Sunday is the day for the crew to test that recycler and turn urine back into drinking water. The final spacewalk of the mission is planned for Monday. David Waters, SpaceFlightNow.com.